It's my heart. It's cold. It's cold. <laughs>
me. Why? Why? <laughs> As I do, yes, too, my heart heavy. Why are you guys acting like victims as if you guys are not the one orchestrating the situation ships in the first place? Exactly! Hey, hey, I don't like him. I am a victim. Stop. I'm a victim. You're not a victim. Anyway, let me proceed with the story. Only for me to come on the tier one day and see the same person tweeting he wants to find the love of his life and he prays to find that instant connection with the one that was saying how he felt with me. I love the Man, I can't lie. I actually hear rubbish. Sometimes people just come to Twitter to chat shit. Exactly though. Don't use my Twitter and judge me, please. Nothing personal. No. Twitter is for entertainment only. My babe and I were going on no issues. Then one summer holiday, I went for a leadership program abroad. So one night I came back to my room after the day's activities, only for a friend of mine to text me saying that my girl was no longer interested in me. I was confused, wondering if it was a joke, or I started laughing for a couple of minutes. <laughs> Then my phone started blowing up with messages of people asking me what happened to me and my girl. I began wondering how the news traveled so fast, only for me to check her snap story and see her kissing and loving up to a guy in her bedroom. Bro! It seems to say that nothing later on, I found out that she was also going out with a close friend of mine during our relationship. Ooh. Wonderful. Oh, well, that kind of thing. I go just buy a gun. Kill me. Since you won't kill me. You see, leaders' conference. Leaders' conference is the worst thing a babe can tell you she's going for. Because that's how I got my ass broken the second time. Twice. You guys go blue therapy. <laughs> no me, Denise. You had a good week? Is that a trick question? You don't be him. <laughs> you don't scam. <laughs> well, the one the best that they love, she go New York for UN conference. Now I found out say she they knock the Jamaican representatives. Can like that be wicked, bro? So he they collect the boom boom. He they give her a run. Right for the cocky, right for the cocky. They gave me cross country collab. Bro. Now wow. <laughs> I call my ex-boyfriend making out with my brother. What? For a long time, I noticed that he had a habit of constantly telling me how my brother has the best jeans in the family. By the way, I'm a girl. I thought it was all a joke until I started noticing some unusual behavior. He would come over to see me, but he would spend most of the time with my brother. I really didn't give this habit much importance until an unfortunate afternoon. I would trade anything to forget that happened. My brother and him were home on that day. I was down with severe cramps, so I was inside my room the whole time with, my, with him, my ex. He left me and he said he wanted to see my brother in his room. I began calling my brother on the phone when the cramps got way too intense to get me drunk. I tried to call my ex boyfriend also but he realized his phone was on my bed so i summoned some strength and walked down and i saw him and my brother locking lips um, uh, <laughs> um, uh, i i weak i i just weak i'm speechless though you guys know i didn't, I didn't even clock what was going on though and babe said and i'm a girl <laughs> but we say i'm a girl so that you know say like but i went from we went to rain. <laughs> I'm discombobulated. A lot of these niggas is gay on the low. But you never expect your brother, like your actual brother. Like your blood brother. Oh, that's double homicide. Bitch. Nah. Not double homicide. <laughs> oh. Oh, my, that's different. Yay. Sorry, eh? I left. So like, are you still on good terms with your brother? Bro, it's, it's such a sticky situation, bro. I mean, I have to. That's my brother. Yes, no, because it's not really my brother's fault. Ah, uh, so whose fault is it? It's the, it's the boyfriend now. If the boyfriend wants to, like, play both sides, which is not a problem. I'm gonna accept my brother, but my boyfriend... Why are you guys doing this? Why are you Especially the fact that he was complimenting seeing my brother like in front of me, meaning that like you've been feeling my brother since. Your penis they hard for my bro. You a substitute. They don't know if you could start the match. You just did bench. Nobody is safe out here. I was dating this guy from June till August. Everything was lovely and nice in the beginning. Then all of a sudden we stopped texting well. The relationship was becoming sour and I asked him about the first time he said he was really busy that period. And then he opened his mouth and told me that the relationship was a dead. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wait, how old were they? 
Yeah. Why would you accept that day? Who dares to be in a relationship? That's dumb. Uh, yeah, I feel like that's some yeah ain't shit. You didn't use my heart to do the This guy vibes me dog. You didn't Chris. Man, bro, high school is brutal now. That's where I had the worst heartbreak. Oh, now when, now when they break my house, oh, wait, she know, can you share what did the girl actually do that you can't get over? Basically. So basically, man, we had this baby about dating, like, like, with my girlfriend. That's like my first time, I'm only girlfriend. Your first love. <laughs> now, that only baby I don't look off, like, wife, I love you. When I look straight into your eyes, guys, I can see the flowers of women. Okay, alright. You gotta use my lamba forever and ever. For lifers. For lifers. I oh, wash my head. Oh, monster. Oh, God. I hope they are happy. I will You too. You too. You didn't chop off. I didn't chop off. My bro. I love his sweets. He's even dreaming. Guy, when I was dating this baby. Everything is soft. That's how she started talking to this girl, man. Like I was uncomfortable. I was like, what's up? Like what's going on? Who is that guy, right? Yeah, like who is that? Who be this guy? You know this guy. You savvy this guy. You like I don't savvy this guy. Like what? What are you doing with? I was like, oh no, you know, we're just friends, you know, I, you know, I just think he's cool, da 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 I said, okay, now, no pee, it's nothing, she be just the internet. Like, now me, she they still come to, no pee. Bro, they started going for their parties. So, basically, she now went to, like, one of his parties, and I was like, oh yeah, you know what, do your thing, I trust you. Now, where you fuck up? Da da da, you know, I didn't give her a vote of confidence. Now, where you fuck up? A nigga like me, camera, they are back. Ah, no, like, I used to say I trust you now, like, they're better for private party. I trust my baby. She now broke up with me, Sha, long story. Oh, damn. The only worst part, she now have his own credit. I think I'll call her home. My own credit, my own FTA. <laughs> Don't give me that score. <laughs> I didn't talk Doritos that day. I come and hello. Why did they tell me? Ah, oh, she got she got a cry. So why you cry? Why you cry? Say you know. So they call me. I I said I have to break up with you. That is this guy vibe. Why is she crying? Thank you. Did she cheat on you? Bro, she went to dating the next day. Day after our breakup, they were together. Oh. Uh, vibes. <laughs> Tosi, tell your story, please. I want to hear your own. As in Tosi, I beg. Okay, so my heartbreak story, yeah. <laughs> you know, I was a fool in love, you know? Yeah. So it was his birthday. And for me, like, I love birthdays. So I was like, okay, I gotta get him a cake. <laughs> I wrote him a message. I did video. I did everything. <laughs> so I went to his house. Tell me why I went to his house to surprise him, like, 12 in that, you know? He wasn't there. He said, ah. We we're looking all over the building, we couldn't find him. It's 12 midnight, it's 12 01, 12 02. Where could you be? Come to find out later, he tells me that he was with another girl the day of his birthday. Shut. So, see, did you know the girl? The girl does my hair. Ah! Your hairstylist. Hey, that's where the fucked up part. Ah. <laughs> Your hairstylist, like this. Oh, man. He didn't respect you. Hairdresser, Baba. You, you, you might as well just kill me. There's so many other options. So she go do your hair, Congo. They do your man. As a babe, they go they rub your hair, they tension your guy. Why could they rub my hair? Hairdresser, bitch, I buy three people. I don't think you accept your goal. There you go. Alright guys, that's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this fun ass video. It was really fun to reminisce on some heartbreak stories. I hope you guys don't feel too bad about your own heartbreak because we've been there, but we're moving forward and we're doing better and bigger things. Anyways guys, don't forget to subscribe, like, let's get this video to... How many likes should we get this video to? 3k, also 3k. Let's get this video to 3,000 likes if you guys want to see them back again on my channel. Yeah, I'll make sure to queue. For those who really need to heal, heal. If your story is like Benson, then just get over it. Think, uh, focus on yourself. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, I'm gonna be signing out by saying go crazy, go stupid, go stupid, go crazy. And I'll see you guys back again in some new BGT content. Bye. Rosie out. <laughs>